uh, the, the title, my title is Artificial Empathy, and uh, the subtitle is Effective and the Cognitive Development of Robotics. As Peter mentioned, you know, uh, I'm uh, uh, one of the founders of the, or the RoboCup, and also, we're the, of course, professor of the uh, Osaka University of Engineering. Uh, graduate school engineering. And uh, the Elato project, I form a leader of the Elato project. And also now I have the PI of the JSPS, uh, the PI Kaken, and so on. But also I'm a oh, the board member, sorry. Oh. Oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. Here? Yeah, it looks like this one's down. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, so we're, I'm a board member of the uh, Japanese Society of the Baby Science. So, so many people ask me, why are you related to the baby? The, my answer is a very, very straight one. Because uh, we like to make the robot more intelligent. But what's the intelligence? That's a big, big mystery. How the baby became intelligent? So therefore, uh, you know, uh, we like to attack the, you know, the, this problem. And instead, we like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, by utilizing the, the robots or some computer simulation, we like to address the, this issue, the mystery of the intelligence, how the, uh, the baby became the, you know, the intelligent or something. And the next slide is just acknowledgement of <laughs> the, my colleague, because all the time I forget that to show the, some slide of the acknowledgement of the, my colleague. Therefore, especially today, I have more than 100 slides, so I have to hurry up. Please follow me. So, <laughs> and next slide is also the RoboCup, about the RoboCup. So uh, this year, uh, the last month, uh, it was held in Hefei in China. And we have already uh, 400 teams. And uh, uh, every year, we have uh, uh, more teams. But uh, due to the limit of the time and the space, so we're almost 400 teams around the world. And uh, uh, half of them comes from the uh, junior. Junior means from elementary school to the high school students gathered, they assembled the robots, their robots, and the competition is the soccer, and also were the rescue, and the dance, and so on. So they enjoy, really enjoy the, you know, the, the games. And also were, we share some kind of spirit of the RoboCup, the RoboCup spirit all the time challenge. So uh, this year, uh, we have some special one. As uh, I will show you the video, but <laughs> still not yet, okay. Uh, two years ago, uh, we got a champion. Uh, my team uh, got a champion in the Human League, and also we get some uh, Louis Vuitton cup. The Louis Vuitton is a big sponsor. <coughs> they offered some Louis Vuitton cup. It's a, uh, the cup is the Bacala's uh, crystal, and uh, it's almost uh, uh, 2,000 yen. Eh? 2,000 yen. <laughs> 0.2 million dollars. Okay, almost 0.2 million dollars. And uh, so, so we, we had uh, some insurance because actually we get one year. And then we asked uh, our president to, uh, to, 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 you know, to display this one. And the insurance company said that, okay, 0.2 billion uh, million dollars costs very much. Therefore, uh, the, uh, the, our university can have that one, but uh, just uh, 0.02 million dollars. That is uh, 200 million yen. Eh? So <laughs> 2 million in Japanese yen. Oh, where is that? Oh, uh, 118, uh, 100 million or something. It's just a box of the Louis Vuitton. It's only one box, therefore, the, the, they mentioned. Anyhow, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You'll get some extra time. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, it's okay. Uh, it's a good news. So, next slide is just a video clip. So, uh, okay. Come in, come in, come in. Okay, so. Uh, that's why we have two systems, they break down uh -huh. and turn. So oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I hope that I had long one hour <laughs> during my talk. Okay, anyhow, this shows in words and how the number of teams are increasing. So we started in 1997 in conjunction with the Ichikai Conference, the International Judge Conference of AI, and that time just only 40 teams. And almost them are the simulation, not real robot league. Real robot is a middle size and small size, totally nine teams. But now, almost 400 teams around. As I mentioned, that due to the limit of the time and the space, so all, we, we just accepted uh, you know, 400 teams. And half of them is a junior, as a many junior participants. And two years ago, we got the champion of the, the, human, league side, the human league, and we got uh, the, this one, the Louis Vuitton Cup. This one. 
Okay, I have like to show some video clips. So the everything is autonomous. This is a uh, it, it was held in the uh, Netherlands and uh, the Queen. This is the S. Okay, you can see it was the omnidirectional vision system and loop shoot. All the time challenge. The local team, so it's so exciting. So this is the middle side league. So everything autonomous. And this is in uh, the rescue league. So uh, only in this league is a teleoperation. Because, you know, uh, to rescue the you know, victims in 72 hours is just a very serious issue. Therefore, you know, fully autonomous is kind of the, you know, the dream. Therefore, the kind of the teleoperation, but only the sensory information comes from the robot on site. So nowadays, you know, the drone or some remote type robots or active. The scale is the same size of the disaster situations. And like this one. And this is a you know, sponsored league, the first. The first is a company to produce some kind of artificial master or some kind of part of the robot, uh, robot, uh, robot parts. And then the, the competition is supported by the first company. And then they assemble the, some industrial parts and carry on something. This is a small size league. Also, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, so remote sensing, so TV camera is from the ceiling and they capture the whole field and then uh, localize the robots and the ball and uh, uh, some sort of the teamwork. This is a simulation, okay. So where this leg is, uh, the ball speed is very, very quick. Therefore, sometimes difficult to follow. This is the human leg. And now we have, uh, this is a standard platform rig. So with the hardware is the same and the software is just competition. The before we used the uh, Sony Ivory. Okay, so we're very, very unstable. That's a French company, out of the Now it's a uh, paper is very famous, but uh, anyhow, the French company, therefore, still the hardware is not so stable. Or the other leagues, uh, <laughs> uh, the E team prepared their own robots. <laughs> yeah. So we are very serious, not just brain. So a serious application, one of the application is a daily life application. So this is RoboCop at the home. So the mission is to identify the person and also the conversation with the people to assist some kind of the physical task and so on. So this time, it's just uh, to carry something or, you know, uh, water brain and then <coughs> some conversation with uh, people. So anyhow, so uh, this is a uh, one of the application of the RoboCup. Okay, okay. So uh, <coughs> this is from the website this summer school. So I copied this one, and I found NE is missing. <laughs> aware, awareness, awareness, something. The NE is missing. So I put it. Anyhow, so we are using the uh, notion of the awareness in the broad sense. We. Uh, somehow they are blah 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 blah, and then so the, the we this include the neuroscience, cognitive science, artificial intelligence, artificial life, and robotics. So today I'm going to talk about the robotics. So uh, what does it mean the robotics in my talk? So why is the idea is that so that's a design theory. So uh, existing discipline of the science try to understand the phenomena or many uh, you know the fact. And based on the explanation, observe and analyze, analyze something. So we have the, some design theory that is some constructive approach to the cognitive, uh, cognitive issues by utilizing the virtual and real robots. And second point is uh, we focus on the development aspect. Do not give an priority, but obtaining through the running and development process as much as possible. Because you know, the many robotics researchers, almost robotic researcher, designer, designed almost everything, how to do or what to do, or something. But we focus on the special with, as I mentioned, I'm a you know, board member of the baby science. Therefore, the big mystery is how the baby grown up. Therefore, we focus on some development process of this one. And also the robot as tools for studying the human's behaviors and the minds. The before, we have been trying to uh, build up the robots and embed the computer model and verify the model or something. But nowadays, still, there are many, many more mysteries on the human. Uh, science. Therefore, we try to utilize the robot as a tool to study the, the you know, humans' behavior and the minds. And uh, especially focus on the cognitive and affective issues towards uh, artificial empathy. So this is, you know, outline of my talk. 
the first I focus on the you know uh, cognitive dependent robotics and uh, towards artificial empathy. And today the time is limited. Therefore, I just uh, showed some two examples of our studies. Okay, the, after the the birth. So there are many uh, so the newborn baby around the different behaviors. For example, the hips mouths. So they have shown that some hand regard behavior. It's just hand regard. Just look at the hand. Okay. And this from shows in with the learning target for the, from the viewpoint of the robotics. So it hand regard corresponds to the you know, forward and the inverse models of the hand. As you can see that if we specify the angle here and here and here, you can specify the final posture. And this is a forward kinematics. And if you try to cap, uh, cap, uh, catch the disc cup, uh, what kind of angle here and here and here? This is the inverse. So at the hips mass baby, they land the uh, you know this kind of the forward and the inverse models of the hand, or when uh, that has a face. So uh, for the adults, you know the visual information and tactile information all together. But at this month, okay, so the baby is still not integrated this one. Therefore, they try to integrate the visual information and tactile information, or drop the object that you know related to some kind of the physics, and also were a hated object, something, something. And tense mass, the imitated movements, the imitation, this is very, very important. And just one year, okay, they have shown, uh, they showed some pretended behavior, right, like this one and this one. This is a kind of some mental simulations. So it's very, very amazing. So we gave up to design the robot who can learn that these kind of behavior just one year. Because there are big, big mysteries. How the baby grown up? Okay, therefore, uh, but someone said that, okay, everything is the gene. The gene, the nature side is uh, controls everything. But as you know, the, nowadays, the nature side and the nature side uh, closely related to each other in different levels. So the question is for us is uh, the balance between the nature. To what extent we embedded already beforehand? And to what extent we expect from the learning and the development process? That is uh, one of the issues for us. So uh, we uh, advocating some quantum robotics many years ago. This is the first paper we published 2001, so the 14 years ago. And these guys, you know this guy, Professor Hiroshi Ichiguro, this very famous guy of the Android, his Android, and Yasuo Kuniyoshi, and he's not so famous. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and also these guys, the Rolf Pfeiffer, the Dijo Sandini, as my old friend, and these young guys. This is the 2003, and uh, the six years ago we have published you know, uh, the paper, the cognitive robotics from the ITB transaction of the AMD, the first issue, the first review, uh, with these uh, uh, you know, uh, former uh, the group members of these guys. And this year we had some development robotics, the book, the textbook of, uh, from these two guys. This guy is in. You know, uh, uh, Angel Kandilashi is, uh, he's an Italian, but he's not UK. Uh, he's all the time suffering from the food. All the time in the England, he <laughs> all the time <laughs> finds the Italian food. Anyhow. <laughs> and this guy is a, a psychologist. So it's a, sort of the good book of the developmental robotics, but mainly focuses on the, you know, the developmental psychology and robotics. Okay, so we have been advocating the uh, cognitive developmental robotics for many years, more than 20 years. So the main uh, the aim is to understand the human cognitive process by synthetic or conservative approaches, that are you know, robots and simulations. The core idea is the physical environment and social interference that enable human information structuring through the interaction with the environment, including other agents. What is physical environment? It's not a new word. Actually, the Roger Spelly, this is a very famous guy, a famous guy with a split brain and a Nobel winner. He has already mentioned before one year before my birth year. 90, uh, 1952, many years ago. To understand the mind, begin with the patterns of the motor activities and the derived underlying mental structure from them. So he has already mentioned about the importance of the physical environment. But of course, you know, he mentioned about some biological system, but we like to have some analogy uh, to the, you know, the artificial system too. About the social interaction, I prefer to uh, refer to this guy, the young philosopher, uh, the, uh, the title is Out of Our Heads. So the, the mind cannot be understood except in terms of their interaction of the whole organism with an internal, uh, external environment, especially the social environment. Of course, this guy is a philosopher. He has not mentioned anything about the design, but he has a very, very suggestion, good suggestion. 
out of our head. In Japan, uh, Professor Kono, Kono Tetsuya, Tetsuya Kono, uh, I forgot his name, but he, also he mentioned, Kokoro wa karada no soto ni aru. So that's a very good uh, the suggestion because you know all the time the brain science try to reduce the, some kind of the mechanisms of the mind into the brain, but the, w one single brain is not. For, for example, you know, we send the one robot to the moon or something, and the, we try to ask this robot to do something. Or uh, this robot, only one robot, he does not, he or she does not need to emerge the mind, but we send one more robot or one more person. So this robot has to have communicate, has to communicate with the person. In that case, there's some chance to emerge as some sort of the mind. Therefore, the interaction is very, very important to emerge as such a kind of thing. Therefore, this book does not mention anything about design, but this book suggests us we have to think about some mechanism, underlying mechanism, fundamental mechanism to emerge through the interaction to emerge something. That's a uh, uh, point. So uh, the approach of the cognitive developmental robotics, CDL, in short, is that the consideration of the computational modeling and uh, uh, some verify something. But also the other part is the offer the new means of the data to now human development process, the so mutual feedback with A and B. So this is the part is, you know, I mentioned the robot as a tool was stimuli. So providing the robot as a reliable reproduction tool in the experiments. So actually, this is some summary of the, my former project uh, 2000, uh, from 2005 to 2011. So JSA, uh, Elato, uh, my project. And uh, we started some kind of huge simulations. So University of Tokyo, the Professor Yasuo Kunish's group, and also some uh, the running of the, uh, the motor scales with the artificial muscles. As you know, for example, the Honda Ashimo is just electric motors, like this one. Maybe in the video you can see that some of the Ashimo is running this one, but it's very, very noisy. As electric motors, high gear, so the, you know, you know the, the battery system is like a complete movement like this one. But for the, for the Honda Ashimo, it's very difficult because, you know, very high, uh, high gear in the motors. Therefore, like this one. But in this group, the artificial muscle, so like a, the, like a massive system is uh, the, you know, uh, uh, powered by air. So we're the, like kind of some, uh, some, you know, some sort of dialectical movement. So motor skills running here. And there are also some kind of the cognitive issues and also some, some social interaction of the, you know, the vocal imitations or the joint attention stuff and so on. Uh, but the joint attention stuff, maybe the second speaker of the Yuki Nagai, you mentioned about this one, something. 